Well, today I want to talk about um, trust. And the truth of the matter is, when you're talking about trust, today there is no trust in the world. Because the person you trust the most will be the person to betray you. Because we have lost our consciousness. Today, the human race is so bad and wicked to the point that, that even the Bible describes it as the heart of men are desperately wicked. So sometimes when I talk about trust, I used to see that I have been betrayed a lot of time. Why? Because I trust people. And for you to trust someone, it's like putting your life in line for them. Why? Because when you want to trust someone, first you must make that person your friend. Secondly, that person will have access into your heart, into your life, into your home, into your business, into everything that concerns you. So if you don't trust someone, you cannot allow, give that person access into your home, nor into your heart, just like a man and a woman. When a man loves a woman so much, he trusts that woman, no matter what they tell him, that ah, this woman is cheating on you, this woman did this, this woman did that too. Because of the trust and love that man has for that woman, he will never believe whatever they are saying. The same thing implies with the woman. But what am I trying to say today? I'm talking about friends. Trusting your friend. How much did you trust that your friend that you are working with? How much do you trust that man that you sit in the same table drinking? You stand up, you leave there your drink, you go to the toilet and come back, take that same drink and begin to drink. That is trust. But most of the time, these people we trust so much. These people we put our life in line for them are the problem we have. Yes. These people we call friends that we trust so much that we can even leave our food. We can even leave our drink in a beer parlor and tell you, hey guy, please watch over my drink for me. Let me go and eat myself. Are the people that will betray you? Yes. The people you drink together with, you eat together with, they have access into your life. These same people are the people that will turn you down. These same people are the people who will gather in a round table to discuss your secrets with the enemy on how to bring you down. That is why in life, I used to say, you have to be careful. Be it a family member, be it a friend, you have to be careful. Because no one is to be trusted in our today world. Don't trust anybody. The 48 laws of power says, Do not put too much friend. I come again. The 48 laws of power says, Do not put too much trust on your friends. Rather, make use of your enemies sometimes. Because those people you see as an enemy will be afraid to betray you for the second time. Those people you see as an enemy are looking for an ally that they can trust them. That is why the 48 laws of power says, do not put too much trust on your friends. Because those your friends will easily betray you because they can easily rose in envy when they see you going up. These same people you sit with, you drink with, you plan with, you do everything with. The moment they see you going up, they become envious of you. They become so jealous of you. They try to sit down behind you to discuss how to bring you down. Whenever you plan anything, they are the first people you are going to tell. That look, this is my plan. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to achieve. They will be the same people. They will go behind you, sit down and tell you that if you allow this man to achieve this, he is going to be a of us. He is going to be in control of us. Let us find a way so that he doesn't succeed. These are your friends. These are the people you call your friends. That is why I always say be careful with those people you call your friends. 
because they will be the one to betray you in a first hand. Rather, use your enemy. And I will say this and say it again. That even the Bible says, put your trust in God. That they that trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion that cannot be shaken nor be moved. That just as a mountain surrounds Israel, so the Lord will surround you. Not when it comes to the times of your friends. Because the moment you put your trust in them, you are exposing yourself to a lot of dangers. The moment you put your trust in them, you are exposing yourself to a lot of downfall. The moment you put your trust in them, you are exposing yourself to a lot of bankruptcy. These same people, you sit, you drink, you laugh. It. Be careful. Be careful when you are counting your friends. That is why I want to advise us today. Instead of you make an unnecessary friends that all you do is to sit and drink, eat, jubilate, wherever there is an occasion, they invite you over. Nothing good comes out of them. Nobody talks about how can we become great like other men. Rather, I will say, make business partners. Hmm? I don't know. You really understand what I just said. Make business partners. Make business associates. Make friends. Make associates that can uplift you when you are down. Not just making unnecessary friends because you want to make a friend. Make friends that can create impact in your life. Make friends that when you are calling your friends, you will be proud to say, this is one of the reasons why I am where I am today. Not the ones that are ready to pull you down at any circumstances. Not the ones that are willing to finish you when they get any opportunity. The Bible says, the heart of man are desperately wicked. Choose your friends. Don't let your friends to choose you. Because you are special and unique in your own style. When you allow them to toss you around or to make you look like without them you cannot achieve a purpose in life, then so it shall be. But when you make them to understand that without these people, this cycle of friends that think they are God above your shoulder, that without them you can achieve it. Then God will open another road for you, another door for you that will take you into a greater height. So I would say the only person you must put your trust on or put your trust in in this life is God. 48 laws of power says, and I repeat again, do not put too much trust on your friends. Rather, use your enemy when necessary. Because those people you call your friend can easily betray you. And at any point, arose in their envy to bring you down. I love you all. Let's keep trusting in God. God alone is worthy to put our trust on. Peace.